Hi friends, today we are going to see second chapter of semester second, Lost Forest or B.Sc. part first, which is written by Johannes B. Jensen. Johannes B. Jensen was born on 20th January 1873 and died on 25th November 1950. He was a Danish author and he is often considered as the first great Danish writer of 20th century. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1944. Jensen, who was born of peasant stock, and he went to Copenhagen to study medicine, but turned to writing. Writing was his passion. Though some of his best poetry and his early novels were set in foreign lands, a three-volume collection of short stories, which includes Lost Forests, indicates that he returned for inspiration of his own people and his own land. He handled the literary forms like poetry, plays, short stories, and wrote essays chiefly on anthropology and philosophy of evolution. Johannes V. Jensen died on November 25th, 1950. Lost Forest is the story told essentially from the point of view of a Slav owner, Kora, who bought a strong Slav. But however, it is a story about the Slav who had no voice in the story. He was never named, had no dialogue in the story, and his only value was his labor. The story is a horrific around of how the Slav's life is edified for benefit of the Slav owner. Actually, this is a old story when there were slavery in basically America, South Africa and American and African continent. Black people were sailed in the market and other people who are superior to them tried to purchase them for their uh, work as a slab. Here Kora is a person who bought a slab from the market. was a strong slave but there is no any kind of name of that slave mentioned in this extract that is lost forest lost forest the title of the extract is a symbolic one because this community working as a slave lives in a forest 
and due to slavery they have to left they had to left their native places in the forests they always have they always so he had the passion to return to their native places but the cruel masters did not allow them to go to their home did not give them money to travel the only intention of all these owners of slaves <coughs> that their work to be done by slaves and the family of slaves so this is a kind of sensitive story this is a kind of passionate story of the slav but at the same time it is the story of a contemporary slavery existed in the world so with the topic of this slavery johans v jensen tried to bring forward the slavery as a cruel tradition ex existed in the then contemporary society we are going to learn line by line this story so that you will come to know the then situation the behavior of the master of the slaves with the slaves and entire life of the slaves all these are the important aspects of this story he was a very famous author and as i have already told you that he won nobel prize nobel prize a supreme prize of the world usually to be awarded to those person only who had their outstanding contribution in their field literature is a field in which johans v jensen was awarded nobel prize in 1944 approximately 80 to 85 years back he won this prize in his writing we generally see that there is a universal appeal we can easily observe in his extracts he easily pointed out social issues very keenly minutely though it does not suggest any kind of remedy on social issues but he tried well to point out serious social issues through his writings this is an introduction to lost forests by johans v jensen in my next lecture 
we will go line by line and try to understand what Johann's visions and wanted to convey. Thank you.